going on ladies and gentlemen wanted to make a video to talk about bids and how you can utilize bids um, in your scaling campaigns and how you can identify um, kind of that sweet spot to where you're getting really good performance um, yeah really good performance at a decent skill so I want to start off by saying uh, most of the time the issue you're gonna see with bids is either it's blowing through your budget or it's uh, not spending at all right those are the two biggest issues um, that you're going to face and what i recommend is whenever you start some type of a bid campaign whether it's a scaling campaign whether you're using them in tests or whatever it may be you want to start lower and then incrementally increase the bids until you start seeing spend and then kind of find that sweet spot so it's like a three-step process starting it off um, conservatively uh, increasing it until you see spend <clears throat> and then uh, decreasing it uh, so you can kind of find that sweet spot so I want to uh, demonstrate uh, with one of these, uh, one of the scaling campaigns that we have here um, that spent twenty five thousand in the last um, last twenty eight days. It's almost a thousand a day um, at the current spend. I think it's at two thousand a day. Um, I want to just showcase how I got this campaign with bids kind of ground up um, to where it's spending today, and how I'm going to be manipulating um, the spend here today, or sorry, the bid here today um, to further optimize this campaign. So uh, first thing I want to touch on is you can see this started off by spending about 200 bucks a day um, at the very beginning. And at the very beginning, you can see that this bid was set at, um, at uh, $54.72. Uh, $54 so start off at $54.72. You can see the daily maximum um, spend limit was originally at 200 bucks, then was increased um, to 400, then to 800. Uh, and you can see right at the beginning, uh, it wasn't necessarily spending uh, spending that right off the bat. Uh, you can see back, yeah, right around when we started increasing um, increasing those limits is when we started spending a little bit more. Um, basically, this had trouble uh, spending through the entire budgets, and I was like, okay, how can we actually get it to spend uh, through more of the budget? Um, well, that ties into directly messing around with the bid. So you'll notice that uh, here we went from uh, 54 to 55, and then we were still seeing a little bit of struggle, so we went 55 to 56, same thing, 56 to 57. Now, around 57, you'll notice um, we started spending, we started spending on it. It started, you know, spending a lot more through, um, and we started able to, you know, we started to be able to uh, see close to 1,000, if not, you know, 1,500 um, in spend that started to happen from uh, the increase um, in the bid. So you can see ad set bid strategy updated right around here. Um, and we were able to push uh, the scale up a little bit more. Now, what happens is typically right, um, right when you have a more aggressive increase in your bid, um, you're going to see your cost per uh, cost per purchase spike as well. So you can see on the uh, 22nd of July is when we had the, the increase in bid. Um, so you can see 22nd of July, we had that increase in the bid. And then the very next day, you can see how that cost per acquisition went up, right? It, it, it cost us more to acquire customers. Why? Because we're bidding now more. Um, so to start to lever to start to average this now down and to find that sweet spot where you're being able to spend more, um, but you're also getting really good returns, you want to then start, like I said, to narrow down the bid and, and go the opposite direction. Um, in smaller uh, in smaller doses in smaller increments and you'll see um, that over here we went from um, 57.72 to then 57.02 right and we let it run for a couple of days um, increase the daily maximum spend on the ad set again um, and then you can see it was running for quite some time at um, 57.02. And what did I notice? Well, I noticed that as it was running at 57.02, we had this uh, blended average over here. Right after we spiked, we went back down and we had this nice little average here um, that was working well at 57.02 for, you know, roughly $40 acquisition cost, which is not horrible for us, uh, maybe like 30, 38 or so. Um, so it was chilling right around here. And what you'll notice is that we recently started going you know back up these acquisition costs are starting to get a little bit more expensive here um and again 
as we're spending, you know, two grand a day on this campaign, I want to make sure that that two grand is being used as efficiently as possible. And I'd rather, you know, not be paying, um, you know, $47 per purchase. Um, uh, specifically today is what kind of raised the flag. Look at this. Today I'm paying $75 per purchase with this, right? So what is this telling me? This is telling me that we're currently bid, we're kind of overbidding, right? We're overbidding to the fact that we're hitting the maximum spend every single day. We're spending all of that budget, but we're not fully optimized because we could be tightening that bid more and optimizing the purchases so that we're spending less to acquire a customer. Um, maybe not spending the entire budget, but being more efficient with the budget. Um, so it's when you start seeing this type of activity for multiple days where it's like really heading in the wrong direction. What does that mean? Like, why does this happen? This typically happens because you have um, a lot more people that are, are willing to bid. So more people are, are willing to bid. Um, and the bid is essentially, um, sorry, opposite, my bad. Um, you're having less people that are willing to bid, which is then having the bid that you originally, um, that originally was maybe tight for you, um, start to be high, right? So that's then higher than the average and you're winning more, right? You're winning more auctions because that bid is now higher than what the average is. Um, which is then not necessarily being as optimized as it can be. I don't know if that made much sense. Um, but that's my understanding that my understanding of why, um, cool. Let's talk about what do you do, um, in, in this scenario? Well, again, you kind of want to keep decreasing the bid. So you can see, um, here we went from 5702 to 5602. And if we go back here, we saw that we ended up going from 5670 um, to 5770. So right around the 56 mark is, you know, where we played it a little bit around before, and I will most likely be playing in this range, right? So the next time that I update it, which will be now, we're going to be going, cause we, we changed this yesterday and we can see it was still kind of, it's still kind of blowing through it. So I want to push more towards the 55. Maybe we're going to go like 5590 and then we're going to let that run. So it's quite literally as simple as going in here, going like 55, 90, publishing it. And now the entire, what I'm looking for now, right? As we updated this, what I'm looking for is that over the next 24 hours um, or so that we start not spending and not blowing through um, the entire max cap that we have set, but this starts having a little bit of restraint on it. And if it doesn't, right, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna decrease it again. And you're gonna, you're gonna keep doing this, right? Until you identify, okay, let's just say it, maybe it's at 53 now, that that's now where most people are bidding and I'm now gonna get back in that range and get more tight on it, which is gonna yield me um, better performance, a better average cost per result, right? Which we're kind of going for. Um, so hopefully that logic makes sense and that approach makes sense and gives you guys an idea on how I manipulate um, my uh, bid caps and uh, that's what I wanted to demonstrate in this video.